Like so my first question for you is, as an actor, what does it feel like knowing that the fans have accepted uh, Chicago Fire year on your third it season? It feels great. It's, uh, you know, when you first start a pilot, you have no idea whether people are going to like you or not. And so the only thing you're left with, really, is doing the best that you can do with the script that you have. And, and then it's about the believability of everybody in it and working on it. And we are lucky enough to have this fabulous crew who have bought into each other's talent and ability and have said, okay, we really want to make this work. And we have that first and the, the alchemy of those people coming together, trying to facilitate and grab hold of the camaraderie that real firefighters and real policemen have. And we thought we'd managed to capture it, but we had no idea of knowing until it went out to the public. And when the public saw it and fell in love with it, the first year, you kind of think, well, maybe it's a fluke. The second year, we knew that people started to love us. And this year, I think it's grown even more. So I'm, I'm very, very happy. Your characters definitely had some ups and downs in the first couple of seasons. As an actor, how's it been you for play that type of character? With the highs and the lows. You know, that's what makes it interesting. You know, when you've got some a mountain to climb, you know, we are 360 degrees people. We are multi-level, yeah. you know. So the first image you got of Bowden when you first saw him, he may have came across as a kind of uh, officious, kind of almost military guy, but that's his go-to. That's what he knows because that discipline was instilled in him in the Navy about how to get through uh, situations that are uniquely terrible to most people, but he can handle and he can deal because he's got that thing within. He's seen a lot of terrible things, but that didn't stop him from being a human being. And so gradually, the layers start to come off of this man. You get to see the man who, who he is and what makes him tick. And so that's uh, now that you've seen him be married. Now that you see, you can start to see his sense of humor. I, I love that. I, I love that he's growing and he's growing. And he's growing. is obviously Shay's death was a big blow to your character. How is that going to affect him the rest of the season? Uh, well, it, it, we, we see, we see, you know, he comes back in episode one and it's it's clear. Uh, so he kind of goes uh, on a downhill trajectory uh, in terms of in terms of dealing with it and, and coping with the loss of his best friend. Uh, so we'll follow that and I think we're, we're filming episode seven right now. We just started seven and it's something that I'm still dealing with my character. Yes. Um, for you, what does it mean as an actor to have the fans embrace the show so much oh, I, going into your third season? Uh, it's incredible. The, the, just like the outpouring of, of love that we have for them and uh, you know, I'm, I'm always really great. I'm incredibly grateful for the job but to the fans as well. I mean, if, if people didn't watch then I wouldn't have a job so, so thank you to all the fans out there. We love you. And what does it feel as an actor to represent such a you know historical esteemed unit as the Chicago uh, it's an Fire honor. Department? Um, it, it really is. You know, you, you know, dating back to you know September 11 and, and the heightened awareness that first responders got after that. And uh, you know, you, you look at something like that, and it just kind of you know the, these guys are heroes. These guys are walking into these you know life-altering situations sometimes. Um, you know, my hat's off to them, and a lot of the guys here that we work with are, are firefighters. A lot of our extras are firefighters, and, you know, my day's off, you know, I, I go pop in at uh, firehouses. So, uh, I, yeah, I've come to embrace it. And finally, um, what can fans, I know you only seven episodes in, but what can fans look forward to to this season? Um, this season? More wow. craziness, yeah, more mayhem? Is, yeah, more craziness. Um, you know, the, the stunts that we do are, are first rate, and uh, the storylines, I, I think we, we've done a really good job of, of building these characters to where, you know, people feel, um, you know, they, they, they empathize with, with these guys. So we can we can push the envelope more in terms of character, in terms of story, um, because our, we have a fan base now and they know these characters. So um, it's going to, it's some of the best scripts I've, I've read uh, so far um, are going to be aired this season. So my first question for you is, what does it feel like as an actor knowing that the show's been embraced by the fans going into your third Right. Yeah, I mean, better than, if, you know, if we didn't get embraced and then we all got fired and we had to go home. Yeah. 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 Way better than that. Yeah. How have you enjoyed uh, your character's journey over the past two seasons? Oh, uh, it's great. I it's mean, been an interesting one for Yeah. Me. And, uh, yeah, it's funny, you know, now this season I've got 
my fiance is going to be on the truck, and so wow. you know, so it's a funny sort of dynamic now where you know she's under my command, but you know, in the house she rules. <laughs> oh no, okay, well, yeah, technically, you know, I don't want to say um, but yeah, it creates for an interesting dynamic, and uh, you know, mixing work and relationships is uh, is funny business, and um, yeah, we're going to see a lot of that. I think what's interesting is that you were on House for so long, which is a great show, uh -huh. and now you're on this show, which is already into the third season. Right. It has to make you feel good as an actor that, to have this steady work. It must be a good thing oh, for you. Oh, I know, absolutely. I mean, yeah. In this business, it's really hard to have no, steady work. No, and I never expect anything to, you know, to be successful. I'm always waiting for it to end, you know. So I think all actors are going to do that a little bit. Like, okay, well, well that's it now. It's going to, you know, it's definitely over. Um, so it's always a nice surprise when it doesn't happen. Yeah. Right, that's all I have.